What is up guys? Super, super excited today. Nervous and excited because today we are picking up a Tesla. What? What? <laughs> so my dad and I have had our eye on a Tesla for several months now. Maybe about three, four, five months ago, we test drove uh, some Teslas and we didn't ever end up pulling the trigger just because of the price. But two weeks ago, Tesla decided that they're going to slash the prices. So a bunch of Teslas had their prices slashed by ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. On top of that, if your car, uh, if your Tesla model was below $55,000, then you were eligible for a $7,500 tax credit if you had the car delivered by March 1st of 2023. So... Two weeks ago, mm -hmm. we impulsively decided now is the time. So we did it. My dad purchased a Model Y and I purchased a Model 3. And today is delivery day. We are actually driving to my parents' house right now. And then we're going to drive up there together because his delivery appointment is 1030 and mine is 11 o'clock. And we have to drive an hour away to pick up the car. So super excited for today. So we finally made it to the Tesla delivery center here in Tampa. Super excited now. We're walking into the dealership and we're gonna get that all sorted out before we see our car. Pick up our car. Talk to a to a sales representative. So just chilling out. <laughs> she got her Tesla. Oh yeah. <laughs> vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> I go vroom vroom. <laughs> Finally here, these are our cars. It's mine on the right, the Model 3. My dad got the Model Y on the left. We're gonna check out the car. That's nice. That's that's tight. It's real nice. <laughs> so I said we should be able to unlock it with the phone right now, but maybe I have to go into the app real quick. Gotta get in. Oh yeah. It's got that new car smell. Come around. Nice white leather interior. Looks so clean. So the next thing we have to do is actually inspect uh, all around the car, just make sure everything is packed tight sealed. There's no gaps between panels, everything like that. So we gotta do a full car inspection right now. Make sure there's no, nothing loose, everything's tight. Everything looks good. Check everything. So here's our keys. We got two key cards. One for me, one for Sophie. Good. So we're inside the car now. Just gonna make sure everything inside works. Uh, Want to make sure the radio works, the air works, all the openings for the trunk and the front work and everything. Oh. 
it's so oddly satisfying. But so so much stuff. I don't even know where to start. Um, first off, we can set up a driver profile. So I'll set up my name, Big Daddy Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Little Daddy. <laughs> you know, create profile. Really glad that they already have 75% battery. So that's great. Because I'm going to be driving another hour home. So I know I'm glad they have some battery in it. So we just set everything up inside the car, played around with it. There's a lot to go through. We're not going to get used to it in one day, in one sitting. But now we're going to finally drive this around. I might just drive it in the parking lot for now. And then uh, later I'll, I'll drive it out on the road. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this bad boy into drive. Definitely works. <laughs> the steering wheel is very nice and tight. I almost think it's a little too tight for uh, everyday driving, so I'd probably change it You have it, it in up. sport mode right it's now, right? It's in sport mode, so I'd probably change it. So it's a little more chill, because the steering wheel is pretty tight for that fast driving. So we're good to go here. Everything seems to be good with the car. We're gonna finally leave Tesla, and we're gonna go get some lunch at Jason's Deli. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, first time using the uh, navigation on here. Go ahead and hit that Jason's Deli. Oh, oh, oh. It already knew. Look at that. Technology. Calculating and now it's gonna take us there. Alrighty, time to get some sandwiches. Man, you really have to get used to that regenerative braking, like treating it like a golf cart. Because right now I'm kind of rough on- onto East Fowler Avenue. Because right now I'm kind of rough on the braking. Just parked. Gonna go get some grub. <laughs> Still calibrated and stuff, but here we go. Yeah. It was a good first drive. I can definitely see um, how fast it is because I barely even use my, my big toe to press down and I'm already taking off. So I can't imagine just flooring it. Ain't no way. So we're finally on the highway now and the car finally calibrated. You can see here on the left side, all the visuals. We just saw that car coming up. See, it sees all the cars around me. I like that the semis actually look like semis in the little picture. Kind of cool. Really I'm smooth ride. So super, super quick. You step on that pedal, it's gonna go. And it's gonna go fast. Alright guys, so it's been just over two weeks since I picked up my 2023 Model 3 Performance and I'm loving it. I had under 5 miles when I had the car and now I've put over 600 miles on the car already. I love all the technology of this car, it's been amazing driving it. My previous car was a 2014 BMW 3 Series and I don't miss it one bit to be honest with you. Uh, this is just as smooth of a ride if not smoother. Um, the pickup, insane. That 3.1 second, zero to 60, you can really feel it. This has been such a fun car to drive. So let me go ahead and show you around the car. Once again, this is a 2023 Model 3 Performance. Comes with the really nice looking red calipers with the Uber turbine wheels. Black trim, black door handles. I think it looks super, super clean. By the way, I did get a tint on this when I first picked it up. Had absolutely no tint, you can see right through uh, the windows but the tint with it looks really sporty also includes the black spoiler let's go ahead and take a look inside When people see the, the inside, they immediately 
uh, look at the screen and think, wow, there's a freaking iPad inside the car. <laughs> and they're not wrong. <laughs> I did get my own floor mats. Um, I think that's probably one of the first things you should probably order when you first get your Tesla. Take a look at the back seat. I'll go ahead and pop the trunk for you. So you can take a look at that. Little compartments on the sides. I have the uh, floor mat in here, so it's kind of blocking, but there is another compartment in here as well. Honestly, more room than I really need. So it's super convenient. So I also have the front here. I pop this open. Look at that. Nothing there. The only thing here is really the, uh, the washer fluid. And I gave you a little tow hitch. Other than that, super clean. I ha honestly haven't had to use the frunk yet um, because there's tons of storage in the back. And honestly, it's more convenient because it's autom like automatic. One, one thing I don't like is the fact that you do have to manually open and close the frunk. So when I close it, I gotta push it down and just push. I did want to talk a little bit more about uh, the pickup delivery experience. When we showed up to the Tesla Center in uh, Tampa, there wasn't anybody really there um, in the delivery center. We actually had to walk over to the service center and the guy at the service center was like, hey, um, you gotta go to the delivery center. Uh, somebody will be there. So we walked back to the delivery center and we had to wait probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes for someone to actually show up because it looked like a ghost town in the delivery center. Once someone actually showed up, um, she was nice. She helped us out. She just confirmed that, hey, you are who you are. Um, she gave us our two key fobs and she said, your car is in the space out there and you can go ahead and just set up your phone key and get in there. You can examine, you know, inspect the car. And um, once you're ready, you can just leave. There thankfully was um, another gentleman outside that was walking around the parking lot, kind of just answering questions that anybody picking up delivery had. Um, the guy that helped us out, um, shout out to Juan, uh, he, answered all the questions that I had about charging, about driving, any kind of settings inside of the car, just helping us get used to the car. So that was really helpful. Um, it's kind of interesting because the whole process is extremely streamlined. You know, when you order the car, um, you do everything inside the app and then you pick up the car and it's not like a usual kind of dealership where you're having to deal with paperwork or having to, you know, deal with signing things. Um, deal with talking to sales reps, etc. It's literally just, you order the car online, you, um, you know, you go to the app, you kind of have to enter in some information about your, your registration, insurance, payment. But once you complete all that, and then you actually go pick up the car, it's pretty seamless, honestly. It's really super easy. Um, so I really like that experience uh, with picking up the car. One thing I forgot to mention was just how fast uh, I actually took delivery of my car. I ordered it on a Sunday. By that Tuesday, I got a VIN number and then I got assigned the uh, delivery date. And then within, I think a week after that, I actually picked up the car. So it was extremely quick and fast. However, that may change depending on your location, depending on which model you get. Once again, I got the Model 3 Performance. So, you know, uh, a less common car uh, model to actually get. It was really fast for me. I know some people in the forums have said that it's been, you know, a few weeks since they've actually ordered it and they still haven't picked up the car yet. Um, so it just depends on where you are, really. I also know that the price of Teslas have gone up in the past couple of weeks since I took delivery of my car. When I ordered my car, it was $54,995, which, which did qualify for the $7,500 tax credit. Um, but now... Uh, the car, I think now this particular model would be around f almost 57 ish. So it has gone up just a little bit, um, since I picked up the car.
I'm extremely happy with my car. You know, I've been eyeing Teslas for the past, you know, several months. I did test drive one um, maybe about six months ago, but the price of Teslas then were just astronomical. I mean, for um, this same model that I have here, it would have been upwards of almost $70,000. So when this price cut happened, I was like, I'm hopping on this. And it was time for me to um, sell my, my Beamer anyway. I'd had it for eight years and it was racking up some miles and I knew I was gonna have to put some work into it. Uh, so once again, extremely happy with my car. I didn't have any issues uh, picking up the car in terms of quality control issues. So I'm extremely um, happy about that. And overall, I've just really been enjoying the driving experience of this Tesla and uh, can't wait for um, my next road trip when I don't have to pay for gas. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe for more Tesla content to come. Thanks. Yeah. Baby girl, love my bop and I like me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through.